those videos, you see things that sure look mysterious, that move in odd ways. The government didn't talk about it at all. Why weren't those videos acknowledged until 2020? First one appeared, I think, in 2004. So declassification of data is a very complex thing. I pushed through packages of declassifying information all the time, and it just takes forever for every one of those things to go through, and here's why. I have a camera and it takes great pictures. Well, it's a classified sensor because it's state of the art. If I take a picture of a water bottle, that picture of that water bottle is classified because if I'm a bad guy and I can take that picture and all the metadata that goes with it, I can reverse engineer that picture and figure out what that sensor is and then I can defeat it. So if I'm going to declassify it, one of the things I have to do is ensure that the owner of that sensor scrubs it for any data that would allow somebody to reverse engineer the sensor performance. The second thing is if that sensor was flying a covert operation overseas and it took a picture of a water bottle, the background behind that water bottle could give away the operation that I was executing at that time. And if I still have that as a classified operation, I can't give that away. Now it's even worse than that because this sensor is classified at one level for the Air Force who owns it. But if the Navy has another copy of that sensor, they will protect it at a different special access protection. If you have the data, which is another big question, right? So data doesn't always get preserved. Then we have to analyze it at the, at the security classification level that it exists. And then we have to request for declassification. And all of that takes lots of time. 